We're going to have to go to the spreadsheet and expand it because we as Toastmasters have found all sorts of new singular words. We've avoided ahs and ums, but we've now included a whole bunch, a whole <coughs> list of new ones. Let me just point out a few of them for you. Well, we'll start with the left-hand side of the columns. The ahs. Let's count those. Well, David, not you had four, which is very good. Because normally you have a little bit higher. In this particular case, you've kept it for as long as you've been on here. It was excellent this evening with your ahs. You had one um, and you had, so far the record of the day, five of the words of the day. Aiden was our next speaker. I counted four ahs, three ums, and now here we come with a new list. We had several and I, and or a, and then, of course, they were then placed in the double word category, and and a, and a, and or a, or a, or um. Those are the ones that were really became noticeable. So I think just, it's just a pointing out, I, I try to make this into a light thing, it's not important, but I, you got to remember that we've moved away from ahs and ums, and now we've included new things. So we have to start paying attention to that. Tony. Well, Tony today is normally flawless. But because of his table topics, I finally found something I can actually pick on him with. So, he had six buts in a row. Not all in, this, in a row in the sense of, but every sentence he had a but. It was incredible. And I was another one of his phrase catchwords. He had four of those in his table topics. Double words were the greatest ones. I play, I play. I hope, I hope. I play, I play. I hope, I hope. He had in four categories there. His notable vocabulary, I demand answers when he was going through the quiz master. And he did not use the word of the day. Tanine, you had a half an ah, and then two later on in your, uh, in your evaluation. You had three ums, and you had three and I, and, 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 and I. <laughs> which was part of it. Uh, let's see, the next one... Richard had found a new one for him to stay in the double word category. Letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. And four times in there. His favorite word, or my favorite word that he used this evening was piteously. And he had two words of the day. Mr. Forrest, you had a, had a strange one. I, he was, he hit. He hit his mark, he hit his mark, he, he was. He had a couple of double word phrasing in there, but no ahs and ums. Everyone was, was much better with the ahs and ums, but we have these double words starting to show up. So these are the reasons that I'm pointing this out. Dave Ritchie, you had one or two ahs and ums that were not really clear. There was sort of a pause in between each one of them. The only notable word that I thought that you might want to remove is the word hell. Yeah, it was in, one of you, in your evaluation. Uh, Joe Priestley, it's clear for as many times as you came up here. You're clear all the way through. And Martin Dorner, you also fell into the category of the and, a, uh, and, a. Uh. The double words there with the, with the word using the and as your first part of it. Uh, from that point, I would say that the grammarian's report is, is completed. Mr. Ted, Mr. 